Hey, it's Lady Cool Man, or something like this kid guru. Um, this is gonna go on win over Windows Part 3 of the guide. Today we'll be going over uh, common uh, pranks, or there's uh, simple pranks, and uh, maybe more advanced ones. And we'll just be going over folder options. Now, folder options in the simple prank is pretty much you can do it on any computer, it doesn't have to be Windows, but preferably is what it's done on. So, I'm just gonna show you how to do it. First of all, I'm gonna show you how to hide a folder. And this is like for uh, if you want to trick a friend or if you got something stashed in the folder that you don't want people seeing. Uh, whatever it is, I don't need to know. <laughs> Just go ahead and hide it by, you can do this by going to rename and hit alt. And then on the numpad hit 255. And what it should do is, it should, it should just, uh, uh, erase the name or shorten it. It should, it should have no name there at all. And then... It's Alt, and then on the numpad, which is to your right of your keyboard, hit 255. And then you just click out of there, and then go to Properties, and go to Customize, change the icon. Now, I want to go to, you have a lot, a lot of them to choose, but go to, is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If you have these default icons, it'll be around the, wait, let me count again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, right around, oh, pretty far down. Anyway, I'm just gonna just look for the blank white spaces and just click any of them. There's three, just hit OK or apply, whatever you want, and then hit OK. Then, see, you already have this little square, but my uh, inactive uh, name bar, toolbar, whatever it is, is uh, white because of my theme, but that's okay, but if I want to hide it, I might want to change my background image to something that blends with that color. So, your one, you're going to want this color to blend in with your background. The color that has right here. And even when it's highlighted, uh, uh, make sure that it's not the same color as when it's highlighted. Make sure it's not like, see, for me, i got to make sure it's not blue and white, because if I highlight it, I can't find it. But I always want to be able to find it. And a quick way, let's say I hide it, and let's say it's a different color. Let's say it was blue, and it was over there, and I can't find it. I'll hit Control A, and that just finds, I guess that stands for all or whatever, and that will highlight all the files, everything on my desktop. So that's how you hide a folder. I'm just gonna delete that because I don't need it. And then now we're gonna go over virus VBS, a VBS file. And what you wanna do is open up Notepad and just type this simple command in. Type in MSG box space. Uh, and quotations, whatever you want to say. So I said, you hit quotation mark, and say whatever you want to say, and then qu quotation mark, space, comma, 20, comma, and quotation marks, whatever you want to say. You can say test, you can say error, whatever you want. You can say virus, whatever you want up there. And then you hit enter, and then go to a new line, type in MSG box. You always need MSG box as your beginning for message box. Um, I'm not positive on what the 20 in commas is for, but the error is for the name of the uh, box you're going to get at the top. So as soon as you get this down, just put comma in, in between it. Put what you want to say. Pause the video anytime if you need to refer back to something or anything. And OK, let's say you have this. Now we're going to save it. And I'm just going to File, Save, and it'll save into your desktop icon. And I'm just going to click it. <coughs> Delete all files. And then like, you can trick your friends into thinking what. And then they'll hit, you'll hit no. And either way, you hit no or yes, I'll say, too bad. And you here you see the error come into play. And there you go. Maybe, uh, I'm guessing 20 may be the size. I'm not sure. But anyway, make sure when you you want to go to new and go to notepad, make sure when you put it there, you name it, whatever you want to name it. Maybe like virus, don't open, and then dot vbs. And I'll say, yes, I want to change it. And then you should get this little scroll icon now. You want to get more technical? You can put like properties, summary, or wait. Huh. Huh. Well, if you do find out, you can uh, change the icons and just change it to something more technical if you want. So I'm just gonna delete that file. I always leave that one there. And lastly, I'm gonna go over a really, really simple prank. If let's say your friend leaves the room and you're on his computer, and you have about a minute to do something. Now, I'm not, I don't really do this one, so I only know a little about it, but Anyway, this is just the one I call this, the print screen prank. Simply at the top, whatever computer you have, it should be around the top right. Just hit the PRT, SCR it says, it stands for print screen. 
you can either go to run and type in MS Paint or just click Paint, or just go to run hit MS Paint, and it should just open up Microsoft Paint, and then you hit Control V after you hit the print screen. And you can do this to any web page or anything, but anyway, you're gonna get this, and then Control S, save it, and save it to the desktop. Something real quick, untitled. I'm gonna save it, and then uh, what you're gonna wanna do is. Uh, property and then you might want to like hide all the icons in one folder and like stash the folder somewhere or like there's a op there's a way to just take off all the that under property somewhere or arrange icons by is a show desktop items I can just click that and watch what will happen just wait a couple minutes after I hit show desktop items it should take it's gonna take a while just wait and boom. here all the desktop items are gone as you can see and you just get that error arrow now what you want to do is you're going to hit properties and go to s desktop and just hit browse and then go under uh, desktop and look for untitled BMP or whatever you named it as hit ok now you're also going to maybe want to hide if they have object dock or anything you might want to hide that mine's already working because if you can see look really close behind it is the, the fake object dock because object dock is going to stand in front of it even if you paint over it unless you remove it first and just want to hide the toolbar down mine won't pull down because mine's a, a style xp theme so it's not going to go down right now but anyway just drag that down and hide it and then look the icons are really icons they're fake so and if you get everything down here, this whole portion down here, frozen, like hide, hidden, and you put the paint, the paint picture over it, they'll think that their computer screen is froze. And but still, everything, the right click button works. And then if you want to get things back, just hit Show Desktop Items. And just wait a while, and then now you have the real ones there, the fake one behind it. And. You can just go back to whatever your desktop picture was and just find it and then set it back and then you should be okay. And that concludes the video today on part 3 and probably going to end around part 5 and get started on a new topic. And uh, I'm going to start some vi video log vi vlogging, sorry about that, vlogging on certain subjects, etc. And uh, get some new sites open and let you know about them. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. Uh, please comment and rate my videos if you really like them. Please subscribe. I need subscribers. So, thanks for watching.